Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, it's Brian here. Um, this is my first vid drawing video. Um, today I decided to do a little challenge for myself. Uh, I think you guys might enjoy this. But essentially what I'm going to do is draw something out of my head. Or draw something from memory. And I already gave myself a goal of what I'm going to be drawing. Um, today I'm going to be drawing an AR from memory. Now, um, maybe not an AR, but maybe like a Mark 18, maybe, I don't know, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna try to see if I can do this from memory, it's probably not gonna look pretty, but we'll see. i try to do my best, you know. Yeah. Now this whole, I gotta say, 2020 has been pretty crazy. Definitely been quite, quite the year. That's for sure. I, I've been starting a whole new comic. Me and my buddy, uh, been working on this comic for. Oh, by the way, I'm drawing it with a ejection port cover. I'm drawing that side, not just so you guys can get understanding. If you, for some people who aren't gun enthusiasts, uh, essentially what the ejection port cover is, is the part of the firearm, specifically for, well, I mean, there's a lot of firearms that have ejection port covers, but for the AR, it's where your shell casings are going to essentially eject from, if that makes any sense. So, in case anybody that doesn't know that, uh, when a firearm fires around, it ejects the casing, and the casing's got to go somewhere. I mean, <laughs> the firearm doesn't just have a place where it just catches all the... Oh, well, there are things called bullet catchers, actually. I'm not exactly sure who uses them, but I'm assuming people like the CIA use these bullet catchers. Just, uh, I guess, I don't know, prevent people from figuring out who did this deed or whatever. Talking about, oh. I think I made this a little too big, the, the furniture, but ah, that's fine. Huh? There's a uh, there's no mistakes in life, just happy accents. Oh, definitely, definitely did not copy that from someone. <laughs> I think I'm gonna <laughs> I think I'm gonna get copyright claims just by saying that line. Hopefully not. I, God, that'd be hilarious, wouldn't it? If, you're, if some people are wondering why, because I, I mean, especially for people who play Call of Duty out there, I personally don't play it. It's not really my favorite. Uh, but uh, for those of you who do, this right here is an all-weather trigger. So you could shoot these with all-weather gloves. Yeah. Uh, my roommate just came in. Hey, what's up, Kenny? What's up? <clears throat> well, you guys done for the night? No, I'm just switching the fucking slips. Ah. Because that, that store would be open fucking tonight. That's why I put fucking jeans on them. Getting into your drunk clothes? Possibly. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think I'm going to do that tonight. I think... I drank way too much yesterday. I know you did. Yeah. Because another, another drunk bitch had to fucking help you in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're like, hey, make sure Nepo goes to bed. <laughs> sure. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely trashed. 
Yeah. What happens? Both whatever, really. Oh, yeah. Alright, oh, see you later, man. Later. Yeah, if there is one thing you guys should know about me. I'm a bit of an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. That is a thing. Hmm. Yeah, this ain't exactly the best. Hoping that uh, this comes out a lot better than um, it's coming out right now, because right now I think, oh uh, yeah, damn, I made that side. Too big. Yeah, I'm sorry if this is coming out really bad because I'm trying to do this from complete memory. I thought I had the confidence to like do it out of my head, but I guess not. <laughs> oh well. Yeah. This is also just practice too. You guys are literally seeing me practice, so I'm sorry if this video is boring. I mean, if you want, you can just click off that. I mean, if you are still in this, like, god damn, you, ooh, you guys are just too nice. I don't see why anybody would find this interesting, but uh, if anybody is still watching this, I'm glad they are. Yeah. Sorry I don't have anything uh, interesting to talk about, I know. Most people would probably be like, why isn't this guy talking about random stuff? Like, he's just mumbling while drawing. <laughs> but, uh, not exactly one of those people that does that. I, I kind of, it's kind of hard for me to do two tasks at once. Yep. Bit of a dum dum. But yeah. Well, let me, let's make this an in interesting compensator here. There we go. Looks kind of cool. For the most part. <laughs> okay, I think this looks a little bit better than the first one I did. Because I kind of made a little too tiny. Or was it that I made this too big? Yeah, I think it's because I made this too big. But uh, I'm not, I was not about to erase what was mostly drawn already. You know, I was like, well, might as well get rid of the most smallest part, you know? Oh, uh, this is really bad. But uh, whatever, I, I guess. It's fine. It's fine. Mm, I think the eject yeah, the ejection port cover would be somewhere right around here. Pretty sure. If I haven't gunked it up. I'm gonna make this ejection port cover open. How about that? And uh let's see. Pins would be right here. No, the pins. Yeah, I'm dumb, because the pins are obviously gonna be on the the lower, the lower part of the receiver, or the lower receiver, I mean. Yeah. Because this right here, this whole bottom portion essentially detaches. This right here would be the lower receiver. This right here, which contains the barrel, and then the fucking bolt housing group right here would be the upper receiver. But, uh, yeah. Uh, 
pretty sure the ejection port cover looks something like this. Something similar to this. And then like the bolts would look kind of like something like, that. depending on what type of bolts it is, it has the thin grooves. I can't remember exactly. Um, these little grooves right here have something to do with like catching the, the round or something. I, I, I mean, I'm not sure exactly. I can't, now yeah, off the top of my head. I really do need to hone my skills a little bit more on the ergonomics of this specific firearm. I mean, I, I've been learning, you know, but it is definitely something I want to get into. This would be the second uh, pin right here, or takedown pin, my mistake. That's what it is. Fuck. I probably should be cussing so much. Oh, it looks something like that. Uh, yeah. Maybe this. The, the forward assist. Interesting thing about the forward assist. Uh, the reason why the forward assist is on a lot of these firearms, or most of these, is because one of the things, especially during, this is a major problem during NOM as well, where uh, it was sometimes the round wouldn't properly chamber in, and this forward assist was essentially kind of a little bit of a push, like a little help. You know, when the kid's too afraid to jump the pool, you'd you'd push this in, you you push this in, and it'll help like push essentially push that round forward into the chamber. But yeah, that's why that, that baby's there. And, uh, I think, uh, so, uh, you know, sorry, we'll, we'll make this, uh, we'll make this an ambidextrous, so, uh, select switch or whatever. Uh, okay, I think I'm gonna, I kind of gunk that up, but whatever. I think I can fix it. There we go. Yeah. Ah, that's pretty good. I was gonna, oh, I really hope this thing hasn't been wobbling the whole time. Oh well. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like, oh yeah. Depending on what magazine this is, but we'll, we'll we'll make this more of an old school magazine with just the regular grooves on it. Don't think I did this correctly, but whatever. It's all it's already done, right there. Um. Let's see, I'm trying to think if I if I'm missing anything. Oh, yeah, I know I am. I definitely am missing something. Hmm. I do feel like I can make this a little bit bigger because this uh, seems a little kind of short. There we go. There we go. Now there's a little bit more room to get your hand around there. Um. Uh, fuck. Oh, I'm dumb. Yeah. Let's make this uh, a quick pull trigger. Because most of the time the triggers would be like this, right? Like that. But for a lot of like tactical firearms, more tactical ones, they're more straight. Or at least mine's is. I, I don't know. I'm not a super big gun expert, but uh, I know a thing or two. You gotta know a thing or two. Especially in this crazy world we live in now. Never know when we're gonna have a civil war or something, right? Yeah, nah, I'm just kidding. Or am I? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen within the upcoming months. Yeah, I completely forgot that I forgot to uh, put the rails on the side. But yeah, uh, these aren't the best rails, but yeah. I'm not really looking for perfection. I'm just trying to see how good I can do. I feel like we could add some more to this. Yeah, yeah, screw it. Let's, let's add a, let's add something a bit of a, of a peck, 
of some sorts. Yeah, let's put a peck on here. And uh, if, if anybody isn't familiar for, with that terminology, or ter terminology, a peck is essentially just a, a laser sight, you know. It's frequently used in United States Marine Corps, uh, U.S. Army, the Navy. I don't know if they still use pecs. I, I feel like they would probably have something a bit more updated. Yeah. Alright, um, maybe like some holes right here, just for some airflow for the barrel, you know, and uh, yeah, I think we're good for now like I, I don't know any much more detail I could get I like I said I wasn't looking for perfection but uh yeah that is what uh MK18 would look like yep now let's see how good I did let's see I'm gonna search up a comparison <laughs> 